Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to take a look at how you can use a user defined function um, with a check constraint. So consider a table called meetings. Uh, the meeting table is going to be made in the tempdb, and it's just got two columns, a meeting ID and a meeting date and time. Now I'm going to put in a particular day, the first day of 2017 at 10 o'clock. And so we've got a meeting listed at that time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a function, a lookup function that uh, works like this. If you give me a particular meeting ID, I'll look up the meeting date and time. That's all this function does, not much. Um, but you can see it works. If I go through and I run it, I get the meeting date and time. Uh, and I can actually go through and, and I can use this to compare whether or not a date is greater than or less than. So for example, if I ask the question, is it true that the date time for meeting one, is that less than 12, 31, 2016? In other words, the day before, the hour doesn't really matter much, I guess. Uh, the answer is false. It is not less than that time. So uh, the, um, 2017 is not less than 12:31. Is it greater than 12:31? Well, yes, that answer is true, and I get that value. Uh, if I actually put in 2017, actually, I'll just do it over here. Let's say I go through and I put in 20, um, the same exact time, 10 o'clock, or 10:30. That's the same question. Is it um, is it true that if they are trying to see if the the time of 10:30 is less than the meeting time, the answer is false. That's not that's not true. Uh, but of course, if it was seven o'clock, hmm, seven o'clock. Well, that would be true. Oops, gotta turn this around. That was greater than lessons always get to me. There we go. <clears throat> so it is true that seven o'clock comes before ten o'clock on the same day. So that's that's all we're testing here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a sign up table, in which case I have a sign up date and time and a meeting ID that I'm going to to reference. Uh, for people signing up for meetings. And what I want to do is I want to add a check constraint that verifies that the sign up date and time, that's this column here, the value inside of there is before the actual meeting. So given a particular meeting, this happens at 10 o'clock. If I try to put in a sign up time, before that meeting, that should be allowed. If I try to put an assign assignment time after that meeting, it should not be allowed. So let's see if I get this uh, logic right. If it's less than, so it's at seven o'clock, that should be okay. Less than 10 o'clock, that should be okay. If it's, you know, 11 o'clock, then 11 o'clock would not be less than 10 o'clock and that should fail. So that looks right to me. I'm gonna go ahead and create this. And then if I insert a value, like uh, that's lower. So this is the day before trying to sign up for the meeting. That's allowed. But if I try to sign up at 11 o'clock after the meeting has started, it should be disallowed. I should get a, an error on the check constraint and that's exactly what happens. So you would, in some systems, like SQL Server doesn't allow you to do this. Other systems, like Oracle, does allow you to go ahead and put a select statement in the check constraint, which makes life a lot easier. Um, but until Microsoft SQL Server uh, has that feature, this is the way around that. This is the way you can work around it. Uh, one thing to note is that you cannot go ahead and put the check constraint logic right up in the column missing. For some reason, it gets rather unhappy with that. Hmm. 
drop. <clears throat> so I go through and, and try to create this. I get a, an error message saying that my check constraint references another column. So the, um, the workaround for that is don't do that. <laughs> the workaround is um, make the table first and then alter the table and uh, add the constraint and then it works just fine. I uh, hope you found this uh, video of use to you. If you've been struggling with trying to do something like this, I'm sure you have. If uh, if not, it may be just informational uh, that you, know, you can put in the back of your mind and then come back and refer to it at some other time. But in either case, uh, thanks for watching and take care.